Hey! So, I learned a new way how I can record for a super long time. So, we are gonna finish the Wasp episode that we did last video. Um, and this is episode 013.2, made by me, me, National Random News Service. Yeah. Um, also guys, I'm sorry if I don't record in the next few days because I'm working on a super cool video that I hope you guys will enjoy. So stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button. So yeah. Go. Why haven't you done it yet? Why? I'm looking at you, Jimothy. Why haven't you done it? Okay, now we can go on with the video. Thank you, Jimothy. Well, I guess I can't do it for long. Um. Because, yeah. Well, other wasps, like Agileia, Multipicta, and Vespula Germanica, like to nest in cavities that include holes in the ground, spaces under homes, wall cavities, or in lofts, like the tarantula hawk. Go check out last video. While most species of wasps have net nests with multiple combs, some species such as Apioflacema only have one comb. Okay. Now we are on to solitary wasps. The vast majority of wasp species are solitary insects. The adult female forages alone and if it builds a nest. Some solitary wasps nest in small groups along others of their species, but each is involved and caring for its own offspring, except for actions as stealing of the wasps. So, of course, there'll be a few that, like, stay home and then take care of everyone if, like, the mother isn't there. Um, there are some species of solitary wasps that build communal nests, each insect having its own cell and providing food for its offspring. Adult solitary wasps spend the most time in preparing their nests and foraging for food for the young, mostly insects and spiders. Many species dig burrows in the ground. Puddle wasp, hairy puddle wasps, I wish. Similarly, build vase-like nests for mud, often with multiple cells attached to twigs of trees or against walls of buildings, and of course, outside, not inside. Cause if there's one inside, then I'm calling the um animal thing to do pew pew. Um, except I'll have to take the ants outside, the ants that I have, which. This video coming super soon whenever more ants hatch and then more ants and then more ants because um, she is popping out eggs like crazy. Hint, hint. Predatory, predatory uh, wasp species normally subdue their prey by stinging it. And then either lay their eggs on it, leaving it in place, or carry it back to the nest where they may be laid on the prey and the nest sealed. Members of the family Chrysidae, the cuckoo wasps, are kleptoparasites and lay their eggs in the nests of unrelated host species. Biology. We are now on biology. Anatomy. Like all insects, wasps have a hard exoskeleton which protects the three main body parts. The head, the mesosoma, including the thorax and the full segment of the admin, abdomen, and the metasoma. There is a narrow waist, the petioli, joining the first and second segments of the abdomen. 
abdomen. The two pairs of the mamvanier wings are held together by small hooks, and the fore wings are larger than the high than the hind ones. In some species, the females have no wings. In females, they are usually a rigid of the posidor, which may be modified for injecting venom piercing or sawing. In addition to their large compound eyes, wasp have several simple eyes known as ocelli, which are typically arranged in the triangle just forward of the vortex of the head. Wasp processes mandibles adapted for biting and cutting, like those of many other insects such as grasshoppers, but their other mouth parts are formed into a sexual provocus, which enables them to drink nectar. The larvae of the wasp resemble maggots and are adapted for life in protected environment. This may be the body of a host organism or a cell in the nest. Adult solitary wasps mainly feed on nectar, but the majority of the time is taken up by foraging for food for their carnivorous long, mostly insects and spiders. Apart from pro- providing food for their larval offspring, no maternal care is given, so no huggies, no kisses, no loving, no bedtime story, no teachies, nothing. Predatory and peristodial wasps subdue their prey by stinging it. They hunt a wide variety of prey, mainly other insects, including other hymenopteria, um, both larvae and adults. Some chosen wasps are omnivorous, om- omnivorous, feeding on fallen fruit, nectar, and carrion such as dead insects. That is amazingly cool. Dead insects, though. Oof. Adult males or wasps sometimes visit flowers to obtain nectar. Some wasps, such as Polyestis, Fuscatus commonly return to locations where they previously found prey to forage. In many social species, the larvae exude copious amounts of salivary secretions that are avidly consumed by the adults. These include both sugars and amino acids and may provide essential protein building nutrients that are otherwise unavailable to the adults who cannot digest proteins. So one, the adults love to drink the baby spit. Ew but there's one good thing. The nu- they get nutrients from the spit. Um gender or sex determination we are gonna call it gender and not sex if there is any so therefore under most conditions in most species wasps have complete voluntary control over the sex of their offspring gender of their offspring they can make a goal Um, or a boy. And reading avoidance. Females of solitary wasp, peristoid vent- ventoric and n- neskins can avoid mating with the brothers through kin recognitions. So cannot m- mate with the bros. <laughs> um, the probability that female will m- well, mate with an unrelated male was about as twice as high as the chance of home mating for brothers. Sibling mating avoidance reduces 
inbreeding depression that is largely due to the expression of homozygous deleterious recessive mutations. If the sibling mating could if there's sibling mating then the baby could just kind of mess up. Ecology huh. Ecology That's um that's a word I can say for myself that is a word okay so guys i only have a few more minutes so i'm just gonna finish as pollinators i'm so sorry i thought i could finish this entire thing because there's gonna be three episodes but next episode we're getting through this entire thing <sighs> while the vast majority of us play no role in pollination Play no role in pollination. A few species can effectively transfer pollen and pollinate several plant species. Since wasps generally do not have full light covering of soft hairs and a special body part for pollen storage, a pollen basket, as some bees do, pollen does not stick to them well. See the bee movie to understand the pollen and all that. However, it has been shown that even without hair, several wasp species are able to effectively transport pollen, therefore contributing for potential pollination of several plant species. That is amazingly sick. And ain't cool. Pollen wasps in the subfamily Missoni gather nectar and pollen in a crop inside their bodies rather than on body hairs like bees, and pollinate flowers of penstemon and the wattle leaf family, K. The Agi Aginodae fig wasps are the only pollinators of nearly 1,000 species of figs. Okay, so guys, I think that has to wrap up for this kind of video, you could say. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.